have entered the prep zone. It's playoff time here from Salmon as the 21 seed, the Cecilia Bulldogs, come to Slidell to take on the 12 seed, the Salmon Spartans. Anything could happen. It's playoff time. Class 4A playoffs start right now in the prep zone. Free game with Coach Carlin. Coach, uh, a little lower seed than you know, you've know you historically had, but still a home playoff game. And you got Cecilia there coming off a three-hour trip to get here. And it's finally playoff time. You know, it's a must win, as you know. Oh, it's, it's a win in advance, so lose and go home. And, and we got a quality opponent. Throw, you know, throw the seeds out of the window sometimes. We, that's we're 12, and we're fortunate to be playing home tonight. But at the same time, they got some guys that can play. They, they've, they've had, they played a great schedule. We got our hands full. We're going to have to play very, very well to be, come out with a win tonight. A well-coached club. Uh, they got a coach's son on the team. Um, and so what have you been stressing to your players? Is There's uh, obviously with the distance between the two schools, not a lot of familiarity there. Well, we, we're pretty familiar with them. You know, we've, we've, gotten, we've gotten an opportunity to, to scout them, and we've got pretty good footage on them. And, we feel like we know their personnel is as good as anybody, but now it's going out there and being able to take care and, and defend well because they got a couple guys that take tough shots. And that most most kids would guarded that tough would pass the basketball where they got a couple of them out there, even though they closely guarded, they rise and they pull it and, and they, they can make tough shots. So that's uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a challenge. We, we gotta play well. And finally, coach, what's it gonna take to get a win in advance to round two? Well, we, we got we got to we got to make them attack us five on five. We can't let them get out in transition with, with turnovers and get runouts on us. So if we can make them attack us five on five the whole night, and, and we minimize turnovers and make shots, we we can win. Free game with Coach Burrell. Coach, um, almost a three-hour trip to get here, uh, and you, you you draw a club that obviously has a lot of success in its history. Um, so what have you been stressing to your players? Is you got to deal with the trip as well as the team. Just to play hard. Of course, you got the, the, it's a great program here. Coach does a fantastic job. You know, just come out here and play hard and let the chips fall where they fall. Um, what is going to be the key tonight? You know, uh, playoff time, anything can happen. Uh, everybody in the playoffs is good, but you come on the road, what's going to be the key tonight? And that's always my, my opinion is defense. We got to defend these guys. They're a great shooting ball club. I think we got to stop their perimeter game, take away the three ball, and give them the two balls. And you come into tonight's game, a 14-15 and 15 record overall, 21 seed in the Class 4A playoffs. Um, you're looked as an underdog. Is that something that you're using as motivation coming into tonight? I, I, I would say no, because honestly, we played with the number one team in the state, and we beat them. We played with the number four team in the state, and we split. So in the top 25, we've either competed or split with some of the best teams in the area. So I feel that we can play. We just got to play defense. Here we go. It'll be Sandrock and Barry to tip us off, and Salmon wins the tip, and we are underway in the Class 4A basketball playoffs in the first round. And it's a quick turnover by the Spartans as Barry will bring it up for the Bulldogs. This is Caleb Carter, the 6'2 senior, will run the point. Cecilia very patient offensively to begin this one. As the Bulldogs come out in all gold, Salmon all white. Hand off to Barry. This will be a good look for Brown in the corner for three. And it's off the mark. No good. Offensive rebound for the Bulldogs. Back to Brown. This is Carter now. Carter can't finish it. In the lane, another offensive board. Ball's loose. This will be a jump ball. Possession arrow will remain with the Bulldogs. Joshua Fontenet inbounds. Carter thought about the three, now puts it on the floor. One minute in, still no score here from Salmon. Carter to the top, that's Javon Barry. Barry gets a pick, mid-range jumper, and he's got it. So Javon Barry, going to be the go-to guy for Cecilia tonight. Puts the Bulldogs on the board, and it's a 2-0 lead for Cecilia. Driving in, contact layup is good. As Carey Holmes puts the first Spartan bucket in. Driving in, this is Fontenet. Tough shot, no good, another offensive rebound. Lance Williams 
Turns it right back over. It'll be off the foot of Fontenet. They actually will remain with Cecilia. So Carter at midcourt. Cecilia not going to put up a lot of points, as you can already tell. A very patient offense. They rely on defense, as Coach Burrell said pregame. Here's Barry. Barry, tough mid-range jumper. He wanted to draw the foul, couldn't do so. Offensive rebound, back out for three. Off the mark, Salmon finally gets one, and the Spartans have a chance to take their first lead of the ball game. Holmes will work it down low to Gillespie. Gillespie's trapped, good look on the baseline. It's blocked away by Javon Barry as the Spartans look to go up and under. It'll be Spartan basketball underneath their own basket. Jaden Williams gives it up to Sandrock. Drive in, contact, no whistle, put back, and a foul. Rashawn Gillespie will shoot two. The 6'3 junior. First shot is too strong and no good. Still no subs from either squad. As 0 for 2 from the line goes Gillespie. So it remains a 2-2 game, 5-11 to go first quarter. Cecilia and Salmon in the first round of the 4A state playoffs. Fontanet gives it up to Carter, who again, Cecilia, if I'm Salmon, I, I start forcing a little bit of pressure to try to get the Bulldogs to shoot this ball more quickly. There's, there's a turnover. Stolen away by Jaden Williams. Ball still loose. It remains with the Bulldogs, and this will head out of bounds and remain with Cecilia off the hand of Rashawn Gillespie. Crowd here at Salmon disagrees. Caleb Carter will inbound. Carter gets it in. And Salmon is going to let Cecilia have that three ball as uh, they've had open chances, but you can tell the Bulldogs know their game and they're not going to take those open looks. So Carter, as the Bulldogs continue to wind clock, we're almost halfway through the first quarter, just four points total. 2-2 is our score. And now finally the Spartans will force some pressure. This will be a mid-range jumper, and it's good, as Caleb Carter has his first two points of the game, and Cecilia grabs their second lead, 4-2. Sandroff will work it down low to Gillespie. Gillespie's going to want to look for a hook shot and turns it over. Coming back, Josh Fontenet. Fouled! And they'll call it on the floor. So it'll be, it looks like a foul on the floor as they'll inbound underneath their own basket. The foul will be called. It's hard to read those Salmon numbers. As we got a block and it's coming back the other way. Illegal screen called on Caleb Carter. That's his first foul. And the Spartans have a chance to tie as we're halfway through our first quarter of play. Gillespie, work it down low to Sandrock. Sandrock unable to tie the game up and Salmon gets the offensive rebound for the lead. A three ball, got it. Devin Lozana, or uh, that was uh, Kerry Holmes rather. He's got all five points for Salmon. And the Spartans have their first lead of the ball game. Let's take the lead back, got it. Caleb Carter. 
puts the Bulldogs back on top, and now we've got a little bit of momentum going. Six to five, our score, three minutes to go first quarter. Sandrock will drive baseline. Sandrock. Foul call. They'll call it on Lance Williams. That'll be his first. Team's third. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. And out of the inbound, it will stay with Salmon. Williams. Trap now drives in, open lane, can't finish, offensive rebound blocked away, get it back one more time, and that's a walk. Rashawn Gillespie, he's been active tonight, but took too many steps that time, and now Salmon is going to force a little bit of a press, and now we'll back off. So Caleb Carter brings it up. as his Bulldogs lead Salmon six to five here in this first quarter. Starting five still on the floor for both teams. Good look, blocked away, falls loose, who's got it? And we're gonna have a jump ball, possession arrow will be Salmon's. So Jaden Williams, the sophomore, will bring it up for the Spartans. Williams dribbles with the right hand, now gets it back to Sandrock, and he turns it over. Bulldogs looks to extend their lead with just over two minutes to go first quarter here from Salmon, six to five our score. Carter gets the play from Coach Burrell on the sideline. They'll work it down low, and it's a quick turnover. Jaden Williams with the steal. Gives it up to Sandrock. Sandrock drives in, in the lane, floater, contact, and he'll shoot two. So Keith Sandrock, a senior, will have a chance to put Salmon back on top. Spartans 0 for 2 from the stripe in the quarter and in the game. as the first shot is too strong. So now the Spartans 0 for 3 from the foul line. Sandrock will have one more to try to knock this game back up at 6. And he's unable to do so. But an offensive rebound and out of bounds was Carey Holmes. So Salmon 0 for 4 from the foul stripe with 90 seconds remaining as that is a turnover. Donald Calais could not handle it. And the Spartans will drive in. Floater, too strong. Rebound for the Bulldogs. Coming back the other way is Fontenet. Fontenet will get it to Carter near the midcourt strike. Just over one minute to play, 11 points total in this first quarter in what has been a slow moving first round of the Class 4A boys basketball playoffs. The 12 seed Salmon trailing to the 21 seed Cecilia. And without a shot clock, the Bulldogs could do this all game. And that's their game plan. They've got a lead, and they're just going to melt clock. And the Spartans are not in a hurry to rush them out of it. As Sandrock blocks it in to the bleachers. And for the first time tonight, this Salmon crowd has something to cheer about. Calais tried to put up a three ball as nobody guarded him, but Sandrock won the run out. Able to get this Spartan crowd into it. 20 seconds to go first quarter, and Cecilia's going to hold for this final shot and look to extend their one-point lead. 
Down to 10 seconds. Nine seconds. Eight, seven. That's when the Bulldogs go. Good look off the glass. Got it. That's big. And that is going to do it for our first quarter. So, Cecilia plays their style of basketball in the first eight minutes, and they're going to have a three-point lead going into the second quarter. Cecilia eight, Salmon five in the prep zone. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports. Fine arts. And learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles. And this is where we educate every child, every day. It's a three-point lead for Cecilia. Carry Holmes with all five points for Salmon. Caleb Carter with six for Cecilia. And here's Carter as a first quarter that saw 13 combined points from both teams. The Spartans at some point are going to have to force some pressure defensively. With the way Cecilia plays this, this game, three possessions could be huge. Here's a three ball. In and out. Rebound Sandrock, and he'll get it out. Here's Sandrock in the corner, working it down low. That's an easy turnover into the hands of Javon Barry. Barry taking it all the way. Floater, no good. On the finger roll, ball's loose. Sandrock has it, and the Spartans are in transition. Sandrock loses it, and it will remain with Salmon. So the pace of play increasing a little bit here. Could have been backcourt violation. They didn't call it. Jaden Williams gets it off. Driving in. Oh, and it's good. So that's seven points now for Kerry Holmes. He's got all seven for Salmon. And the deficit is just one for the Spartans. Mid-range. Got it. Big shot. Josh Fontenet, his first two points of the game. Extends this lead back to three. So now, much more tempo in this second quarter. As a three ball to ties off the mark, and it will be Cecilia's basketball. Six fourteen to go before halftime. The visiting Bulldogs on top by three. Bulldogs settle back into their style of offense, which is sitting at the mid-court line for 20 or so seconds. Still no pressure from Salmon. Carter was backed off, thought about a three, now gets it to Fontenet. Calais over to Carter. It has been a 40-second possession. As there's not even movement offensively. Cecilia is just milking the clock. And now Salmon's finally going to put pressure on the ball. Calais. Back to Carter, and he'll back off again. Salmon keeps the pressure on. Barry at the top of the three-point line gets it off to... Carter almost turns it over. Carter drives inside the three-point line. He's got contact, and he'll shoot two. So for reference, Cecilia started that possession with over six minutes to go in the quarter. The clock now reads 4.53, and they have a chance to go up two possessions now with Caleb Carter shooting foul shots.
Carter misses, and we're still looking for our first made foul shot of the game. Jalen Jernet and Reese Klein. Jernet of Cecilia Klein of Salmon check in. And we'll have a timeout. Cecilia shoots one more, and we come back. 4.53 to go before halftime in the prep zone. So out of the timeout, Carter will shoot one more to try to extend this Bulldog lead to four. And we finally have a made free throw. Carter up to seven points. That leads all scores. He ties the Salmon total, and the Bulldogs lead 11 to seven. Sandrock to the outside. Thinking about the corner three was Holmes who gets to Sandrock. Here's Jaden Williams, the sophomore. Williams drives in, trapped on the baseline, gets it back out, three ball, off the mark. Rebound Javon Barry, getting up to Fontanet. Fontanet, pull up three, in and out. Holmes with the rebound, and Williams will bring it up as the pace increases yet again. Back outside, three ball. Off the mark once more as cold shooting hurting the Spartans halfway through the second quarter of play. This time it's Barry running the point. Three ball. Too strong from Jernet. The senior coming off the bench, Sandrock. Got to get rid of it and does so. Drive baseline. And kicking it back out. Holmes gets it to Klein. Down low, they look for Sandrock and it's turned over. So the Bulldogs will slow things up once more. Three minutes to go before halftime, and they've got a four-point lead. Carter spinning. Shot, and he is hit on the wrist. So the 6'2 senior, Caleb Carter. Will shoot two. One of two from the line are the Bulldogs, as well as Carter in the game. Make it two for three, and it's a 12-7 lead as Rashawn Gillespie will check in for Anthony Mosley. Off the mark, one of two goes Carter. The Bulldogs do have a five-point lead, 12 to seven. And they're gonna call a foul. A little too close that time was Jalen Jernet, the 5'10 senior. Salmon will inbound from the far sideline. They throw up a prayer for Sandrock. Sandrock able to find it down low. And a great play as Salmon somehow gets two points out of that. Bulldogs come back quickly the other way. Mid-range jumper. Unable to quiet this crowd down. And for the first time tonight, Salmon finally has a little bit of momentum. They can tie with a three. Williams on the outside to Gillespie. Williams. Behind the back dribble to the outside. Williams. Can't find Sandrock in the corner. It'll be off the knee of a Bulldog. And with inside two minutes to play, Salmon inbounds from their own sideline. Here's Williams, 
They force him to go left. Williams takes it all the way, can't finish. Offensive rebound, blocked away. So with a minute 30 left, this is an open three. Off the mark, offensive rebound, Barry blocked away by Sandrock. Second block of the game by Sandrock. As Avantes Lede checks in for the first time for Cecilia. Barry, strong move to the basket and gets the roll. Javon Barry up to four points after scoring the opening field goal of the game. Down low. They work Gillespie. Hook shot. Can't get the roll. Barry with the rebound. And with 55 seconds left, it's not too wild to guess that the Bulldogs hold for the final shot here. And that's what they're going to attempt to do. 45 seconds on the clock. And now both teams wait for the Bulldogs to run their offense. So it's not a very entertaining brand of basketball, but it's worked well for Cecilia in the first half. Salmon with just nine points. And if the Bulldogs score here, they could potentially go into halftime with a seven point lead. Down to 20 seconds. 14 to nine our score with 15 seconds left before the break. Down to 10 seconds, and they finally go. Here's Fontenet. Six seconds, five seconds. Good look. Drive in. Stolen away by Sandrock. Sandrock's going to have to put up a half-court shot, and it is off the backboard no good. But pretty good half. If you're Cecilia, you come in as a 21 seed, and you got a five-point lead at the break. 14 to 9, our score at halftime. Start of the second half here from Salmon. A 14 to 9 lead for the Bulldogs of Cecilia as they're going to come out with a new starting five to begin this second half. Spartans work the ball around the perimeter down low, and that's an easy two for Rashawn Gillespie to cut the lead to three. We'll see if the offensive strategy of the Bulldogs works the same way in the second half after halftime adjustments from the Spartans as the Bulldogs sat on the ball the majority of the half as they go up shooting quick. And they miss their first shot of the second half. It's stolen away by Javon Barry. Barry back the other way. Has it stripped from him. And out of bounds, trying to save it. For the Spartans. A good effort from Kerry Holmes. Not good enough. Bulldogs, open look for three, in and out from Calais. So Spartans, just like that, can uh, tie this game up with a three ball. One minute into the second half. Great defense from the Bulldogs on the perimeter. To tie. Got it. Kerry Holmes puts that one home. He's got all but two of the Spartan points as Rashawn Gillespie is going to pick up a technical. Or maybe not a technical. They called a foul on Gillespie. Uh, but Bulldogs not shooting techs. So Spartans come back from a five-point halftime deficit, and they've tied it up as we're only a minute 20 seconds into our second half. Barry to Carter. Carter back to Barry. Three ball. Off the mark. Spartans have a chance to take the lead. For the lead. Too short. Looked good out of his hand on the shot from Carey Holmes. Coming back the other way in transition, the Bulldogs. Sandrock for the lead. 
no good. Nobody back for the Spartans. Blocked away by Sandrock, third block of the game for him. Ball's loose, Spartans have it. Three on one fast break, blocked away! Caleb Carter with the block. Williams to Sandrock, Sandrock back to Williams, three ball, got it! Spartans lead! An 8-0 run to start the second half has Salmon on top, 17 to 14. Fontenet puts the ball on the floor, had it stripped. Bulldogs gain possession back. Mid-range jumper wide open, got it. Caleb Carter nails the mid-range jumper, and the Bulldogs need to talk. Down one, 17-16 with 5-11 to go in the third quarter. Out of the timeout, Spartans look to add to their one-point lead as Bulldogs come out in a press for the first time tonight. Lede on Williams. Williams over to Holmes. Down low, Sand Rock. Gets it, finished. Don't know how he got it up, but he got it to go. And it's back to a three-point lead for the Spartans. Salmon with 10 points in the quarter after scoring just nine the entire first half. Three ball to tie. Off the glass, no good. And Salmon trapped in the backcourt. This will be a turnover. Fontenet has it stripped, and it will remain with Cecilia. Two and one fast break. Fontenet took it himself and had it stripped away. Bulldogs still can tie with a three ball. Carter for the tie. Got it! Tied game at 19, Caleb Carter. What a night it's been. As we're midway through the third quarter, we get a tied ball game in the first round of the Class 4A playoffs. Inside, back out. Good perimeter defense from the Bulldogs. Gillespie, contact, and one! Rashawn Gillespie. We'll have a chance to get those three points back here as that's the first foul of the second half. for two from the line today, but he hits that one. Three-point lead for Salmon. So the pace has increased substantially here in the second half as Caleb Carter, who has been the leading scorer for these Bulldogs, brings it up. Gets it to Barry, who had the opening field goal of the game, and he rattles that one home. Puts the lead back down to one. Surprised Barry hasn't been more involved in this offense. He's got a good looking shot. They're gonna keep working. Gillespie, he finishes. Too strong down low. Rashawn Gillespie extends the lead to three once more. Three minutes to go, third quarter, 24-21, Salmon leads. And this is out of bounds, it will remain with Cecilia. Salmon crowd disagrees as we've got a substitution as it'll be Avantes Lede checking out and Donna Calais, or Avantes Lede checking in, Donald Calais checking out. Carter outside. Work it down low. Barry, go up with it. That's short. Rebound, Gillespie. Spartans haven't had a two possession lead all day. They can take one here. In the corner, Holmes drives in with the right hand. Sandrock. Spartan crowd thought it was going to be a three ball. He pulled it back down. And the Spartans will do the same with 2.20 to go in the quarter. Yeah. 
Jaden Williams. Driving in. Contact. Finish. No whistle. But two points for Kerry Holmes. And it's the largest lead of the game for Salmon at five points. A situation Cecilia has not been in yet today. Barry. All the way. In and out. Jump ball? No. No whistle. And Salmon has possession looking to extend their lead. Holmes, floater, too short, offensive rebound. Gillespie at a strip. Two on one fast break. Fontanet can't finish as uh, he was held up on a very smart play by Anthony Mosley as they're going to call a clear path foul. So. I was going to suggest that, that might have been the call. I'm surprised they called it, though. So Joshua Fontanet goes to the foul line. And he, com he capitalizes on that opportunity. One more to make it a three-point game from Fontanet, 5'10 senior. And he does so. Big shots from Fontanet make this a one possession game again in what has been a quickly moving first round game here. We're almost done with the third quarter. In real time, the game has lasted 48 minutes. Step back, Barry, he's called for the push off. Salmon takes possession. And the Spartans look to extend their lead. Good defense on the perimeter. Sandrock lines up a three straight away. No good. Rebound, Caleb Carter. Carter slows it up, has to get rid of it, and does so. Sandrock with the steal, and he was out of bounds. Woo! Close call for the Bulldogs as what a game it's been for Keith Sandrock. Spartans force pressure. Three ball to tie. Off the mark. And the Spartans have the rebound. Trapped in the back. Up to Sandrock. Sandrock. Foul! Can't finish. So Keith Sandrock will head to the line. Looking to put Salmon up by two possessions with 37 seconds left in the quarter. And he does so. Big shot from Sandra. Puts the Spartans up four. Spartans will not look to rebound. And Cecilia grabs it. So one of two goes Sandra. Extends this Salmon lead up to four. And with 30 seconds left, we'll see if the Bulldogs hold for the final shot. In the corner, they want to look for Barry down low. He does not have position. Still looking for Barry. They finally find him, but he's out near the three-point line. Down to 14 seconds. Lance Williams works it back to Carter. In the corner. Barry can't find it. Five, four, fouled with four seconds left. It'll be two shots, and Salmon has a chance to take their largest lead of the game. Kerry Holmes, where would Salmon be without him tonight? He'll shoot two. The senior having a big first round performance tonight. And he hits the first. One more for Holmes. He's off the mark. Three, two, one. Got to go up from half court. It'll count, and it's short. What a quarter from Salmon. 
Nine points in the first half. 19 in the third quarter. They have a 28-23 lead as we head to the fourth. Cecilia and Salmon, first round. It's winner go home. We're going to find a winner in the fourth quarter in the prep zone. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports. Fine arts. And learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles. And this is where we educate every child, every day. Start of the fourth quarter. It's a five-point deficit for the Cecilia Bulldogs, who made the trip from Bro Bridge. As we've got a timeout, there's some moisture on the uh, far side of the court. So the 21 seed had a five-point halftime lead. They have a five-point deficit to overcome if they want to advance in the 4A playoffs. Three ball. Got it! That's big! Jalen Jarnett, his first points of the game, cut the Salmon lead down to two. Sandrock works it down low. Back to Sandrock in the corner, driving baseline. Goes up with it, and he's bailed out with a foul. So two shots for Keith Sandrock. He's one of two from the line today. And he hits the first. 29-26, 7.28 to go in the fourth quarter as we'll have a timeout. So three-point lead. Salmon looks to make it four on the Sandrock free throw when we come back. Keith Sandrock, senior, makes it a four-point game. Thirty to twenty-six, our score. Cecilia nailed a three to open up the quarter. They'll try another. Off the mark, offensive rebound, looking to get it back out to Barry. Barry pump fakes, gets some separation, puts it up from mid-range and can't finish. And Salmon has the rebound. So the offensive game plan has changed drastically for the Bulldogs as we begin the fourth quarter. They work it down low, back to the outside. Sandrock has this pass deflected, and they're going to call a foul on the Bulldogs. Six forty-six to go in the fourth quarter. To the corner, and it's stolen away. Great job, Caleb Carter, baiting his man that time. Fontenet, oh, almost had the three-point play. A friendly rim for the Spartans kept the Joshua Fontenet layup out. But Fontenet, who is two for two from the foul stripe tonight, will shoot two more. First shot is good. Three point game. As Nelson Wiltz checks in for Jalen Jernet, who had that three ball to open up the quarter for Cecilia. One more for Fontenet. Got it. Two point game. 30 to 28, our score. 640 stands between Salmon advancing to the second round. Holmes puts it on the floor, out to the corner. Sandrock finishes! Wow! I don't know if he could tell you how that one went in. 
Fontenet in transition. That's off the mark. Who's got it? The Spartans are unable to corral. It'll stay with Cecilia, who have come out shooting a lot of threes, and they've shot them very early in the, in the possession. Only down four. Down low they work. Off the glass, got it. Strong play, Javon Barry. Gets those two points back for Cecilia. Trapped to Sandrock, Sandrock almost throws it away. And it'll be a timeout called by Coach Carlin as the Spartans on the verge of turning that ball over. 5.51 to go in the fourth quarter. 32-30, Salmon leads Cecilia. 5.51 left, Bulldogs come out in a press. And the Spartans will break it. They're not across yet, and they finally get it across. Just as I said, they broke it, almost turning it over. Williams. Picked up by Carter. Caleb Williams turns it to the corner. Baseline drive. Trapped outside. Out to the corner once more. 5.20 to go. They work it to Sandrock. Back outside. This would be big. Got it! What a shot! Anthony Mosley. Biggest shot of the game, put Salmon up five with five to go. Look for the three ball here from the Bulldogs. Carter takes his time. Carter, Fontenet, Fontenet, mid-range. That's huge with a hand in his face. Back down to a three-point game. Sandrock. Almost turns it over on the near sideline. To the corner, keeping it in bounds. A great play by the Spartans. Drive in, blocked away, and they call a foul. They'll call it on Carter, and it'll be two shots for Anthony Mosley. Salmon will shoot the rest of the way. One would just be huge. That's all the Spartans need to make it a two-possession game, and Mosley can't hit the front end. One more for the senior, Mosley. Makes it, and it's a big one. Back up to a four-point game. 4.22 to go. Who advances and who is eliminated? Fontenet. Wants a pick, ignores it. Floater, contact, and he can't finish! Woo! That's twice now. Fontenet has had M1 opportunities go in and out, but he is perfect from the foul line so far tonight and has a chance to cut this lead back down to two. First shot, Joshua Fontenet is good as this Salmon crowd has come alive. Looking to affect these foul shots. Second shot. He's a good foul shooter is Fontenet. As Nelson Wilkes, the sophomore, checks in for the senior, Jalen Jernet. 4-11 left. Bulldogs just keep hanging around. Trapped in the backcourt. Here's Williams. Williams. Got to get it across, and they do so. Gillespie all the way. Contact, and he finishes anyway. Rashawn Gillespie back up to a four-point lead. Barry, contact. No whistle, and Salmon has the rebound. It's loose. The Bulldogs have it. Put it up, and two shots coming from Javon Barry, and the Salmon crowd disagrees. Javon Barry 
needs to hit at least one of these to make it a one possession game. And he can't hit the first. One more for Barry. Rattles it home, and that's big. Back down to a one possession game. Gillespie, outside. Sandrock, contact, no whistle, Sandrock finishes anyway. Five point lead, three and a half to go. Fontenet, three balls off the mark, Sandrock with the rebound. Spartans. They'll look to milk some clock. Trapped in the corner, it's turned over. Barry coming back the other way. Barry fouled in one. What a play by Javon Barry. Just when it looked like Salmon finally had a chance to put the game on ice, Javon Barry steps up and looks to make it a two point game. And he does so. What a shot and what a play by Javon Barry. Three minutes and three seconds to go. It's all we could have asked for here in the prep zone. The winner advances to the second round of the 4A playoffs. 40 to 38. Salmon on top of Cecilia. 303 left. Cecilia with the momentum. Trapped. Or the Spartans. And it's a turnover. Five, and that's got to be 10 seconds. They'll call a foul. They'll call it on the Bulldogs. Whew. Wow. What a sequence. Salmon comes out on the positive end of it, and they will shoot two foul shots. Anthony Mosley nails the bonus free throw. And this second would make it a two possession game again. Too strong, three point game. Cecilia can tie with a three ball with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Carter. Gets a pick. Carter drives in, puts it up, gets separation, can't finish, offensive rebound, put back is no good! And this will be a blocking foul. Two more shots upcoming for Kerry Holmes, who needs just one to make it a two possession ball game. Holmes is good. To make it a five point lead. Holmes does so. Just over two minutes to play. Bulldogs need a score. Fontenet drives in. Floater. Got it. He's come up big every time the Bulldogs have needed it, and it's back down to a three-point game. Holmes to Sandrock. Sandrock gives it back up to Holmes. Holmes turns it over! Miscommunication between Holmes and Sandrock. Give the Bulldogs the ball back. Drive in. Off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound. Put it back up, Barry, no good. Another offensive board. And a timeout called by Coach Scotty Burrell. 1.46 to go, Cecilia looks to tie. Here we go, minute 46 left. Bulldogs inbound to Fontenet. Fontenet gets a screen. Fontenet gives it up. Carter outside, Carter drives in. And it's an offensive foul.
Carter called for the push off. Spartans now in the double bonus. As Jalen Jernet is subbed out. Bulldogs need to come up with a stop. And Salmon's going to take a timeout before inbounding. Minute 35 left. Spartans look to hang on to the lead. 43-40 over Cecilia. Three-point lead for the Spartans with 95 seconds left in regulation. They get it in, and they'll break the press. Sand Rock needs to get rid of it, does so on the baseline. And the Spartans will look to take clock away. And almost a turnover. Back to the midcourt line. Sand Rock is fouled. Two shots upcoming. As Keith Sandrock shoots two. One is good. Jernet checks back in for Wilts. Sandrock goes one of two. Four point game nonetheless. Fontanet gets a screen to the corner. Fontanet cross court. Carter too strong. Rebound Sandrock and he walked with it. So Bulldogs stay alive for the time being. Get it in quickly to Barry. Barry goes up and one! Selman was caught sleeping. And Barry cuts the lead down to two and can make it a one point game with a foul shot. As we're gonna have a whistle and the officials are gonna discuss things. Here we go, Javon Barry. Hits it. One point game. No shot clock. Jaden Williams gets across to Sandrock. Sandrock, no foul yet. Sandrock, still looking for someone to give it up to. Does so, trapped, back to Sandrock. Sandrock is fouled. So two shots for Keith Sandrock as the senior needs one to make it a two-point game, two to make it a three-point game. Nobody rebounding for Salmon as Jalen Jernet is going to check in for Wilts after the first foul shot. Sandrock, got it. Second shot for Sandrock is good. That's huge. Three-point game. Bulldogs need a three to tie and to stay alive. 38 seconds to play. Who do they look to? Carter. Calais. Calais back to Carter. They want to work it down low. 28 seconds to play. Calais to Barry. Barry is fouled and held up and it will be a one and one. So good job by Salmon. Can't tie from the foul line. But if you are Barry, you have to nail these as the crowd comes alive. Javon Barry misses it. Offensive rebound. Bulldogs still alive. Barry for the tie. No good. Rebound Salmon. And a jump ball. No, no whistle. And now finally a foul. 17 seconds left and two shots for Salmon. Rashawn Gillespie needs just one to most likely end this one. As 
is. We'll see a substitution. Lance Williams checks in. For the Bulldogs. Here we go. Gillespie needs one. And he's short on the first. Cecilia remains alive. Gillespie was well short. We'll see if he makes the necessary adjustment on the second. No good! Offensive rebound! Put back on it! Fontenet! Three ball! Off the mark! Salmon's gonna win this one! And that'll do it! Spartans hang on in advance! What a game from Salmon as the Spartans overcome the deficit and they will advance to the second round of the Class 4A playoffs. So that'll do it from here. We'd like to thank everyone that brought you tonight's game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Foles, director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Swain, cameraman tonight, Kevin Mumford, who was so dedicated he got here an hour before the game. That's dedication. I'm John Sartori. Salmon advances in the LHSAA 4A playoffs. 48 to 43, our final score. You are now leaving the prep zone.